In this video, we are going to talk about why we are using React.js uh, for a high fidelity prototype and why we think that is a good idea. And you're watching Dev Tips da -da 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 with guest hosts MPJ and David. So we're gonna make the case for React in six points. It's an industry standard. It's growth. It's, <laughs> it's, it has a very strong ecosystem. It's backed by Facebook. It's very small. And it has a native component so you can build apps. First, industry standards. So Re React has reached a point where it's arguably an industry standard. Is it larger than Java and .NET? No, no, or I'll... what do you mean by industry standard? Yeah, I, mean, I mean it's, okay. Um, so I would say, if I, I compare this in designer terms, mm. uh, I would say that Angular uh, is the industry, it's the current industry standard for building um, uh, building uh, web application, single page web application. Could you say that Angular is like Adobe Photoshop? Yeah. And? React is like Sketch, yes. Awesome. Growing, it's growing. Yeah, so that's, that comes back to the Photoshop versus, uh, uh, versus, uh, versus Sketch uh, analogy, uh, because you want to be using an industry standard that is uh, actually trending upwards and growing to becoming the dominant industry standard as well. And React is definitely the strongest contender in that, uh, that area. Uh, the third thing that uh, speaks for React is that it has a ludicrously strong ecosystem because it has, uh, it has had a strong position for uh, many years now uh, and it has been growing for many years. Uh, and uh, there is a lot of components and documentation and forums and learning resources around React.js. So what you mean by ecosystem is that if I need something, I need help with something, yeah. there's probably someone that has built it already and I can just drag it in and put it into my, my app. Yeah, precisely. And if there is some quirk or weird thing with React.js, uh, that is going to be really well known in the community and you're going to find uh, solu uh, uh, solutions on the internet on how to work around it. It's backed by Facebook. Yes. It was built by Facebook, right? Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, it was uh, built internally at Facebook and used inside of Facebook for, uh, I don't know, many years, but uh, a long time before it was launched. And why is this good? Uh, it's good because uh, I really want to be using tools that a company uh, has been dog fooding themselves for for a long time. Uh, I think that Angular is sort of used by Google, but it's not like they don't use it in a ton of their stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's it's very telling that a new product like Inbox, mm. for instance, was not built with Angular or Angular two. Uh, but while uh, Facebook is using their stuff, uh, using React for their stuff very extensively. React yes, is very small. What do you mean by small? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, I, it's small in size, which is nice in a web al application. You don't want to deliver this huge uh, library to the client every time. But uh, the thing I want to focus on is that it's, it's small on a conceptual level. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there are lots of tools available, uh, like uh, like Angular, for instance, which is a, a very elaborate framework for building a huge as real application. Uh, uh, it has routing, it has database layers, it has networking capabilities, a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, so there's a lot of stuff uh, to learn and manage. React, on the other hand, is very, very firmly just this little view layer. It's, it's just there to render the view and it's not concerned with any of those other uh, things. Uh, which is very nice because you can learn React very fast and get going very fast and there's not a lot of moving components. It also has React Native. So you can build a native app out of your web app, is that right? Sorta. Of. Uh, it's, it's an, it, you can, if you build a web application, you can reuse the core logic of your component and put that in a native app and render uh, native iOS components using uh, the React, React logic. Are you still writing it as like HTML-ish with... It, how it, does it work? Yeah, it, it, they have done uh, a... They've created a Flexbox implementation, ah. basically, for Android and iOS. 
uh, because uh, I don't if you have ever worked with uh, iOS and Android, they have these very special layout components, which are not bad, but it's extremely annoying to keep that layout and the uh, web layout and the iOS layout in your head at the same time. Okay. But the gist of it is that you can build native apps with uh, React, not embedded web views that kind of sort of feel like native components, you are actually using the native components. So if I learn React, I have all the tools I need to build either a web app or an iOS app or an Android app. Um, it's, that is very close to the truth. <laughs> And those are our reasons for picking React.js for this, uh, this project. And in the next video, we will start sketching out the components. I'm gonna put that over my head here. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of drawing and we're going to uh, give you the first sense of the actual application that you will be building. Awesome. Yes. <laughs>